Okay, let's start with IELTS speaking part two. Describe a time you had a disagreement with someone. You had is past tense. Please, over to you. Well, I believe everybody have everybody has different opinions, and that's the beauty of diversity. We can have disagreement with every second person. Recently, I had the disagreement with one of my friends. Uh, I know uh, I know her since my childhood. We have been grown up together. He's very, she's very calm, but suddenly we come up with uh, a disagree, uh, came up with a disagreement about living uh, and serving inside the country or to a foreign country. Um, he, she was urging me to uh, stay in Pakistan after my bachelor's, uh, pursue my study uh, from there, and. Uh, spend my professional life uh, from the same country. However, um, my uh, perspective was that I should go outside because of uh, because foreign countries like developed ones, the, U the U.S., New Zealand, Australia, they are uh, highly uh, developed countries that can uh, give me more opportunities, more exposure to to growth and more earnings. So uh, he was, uh, so she was early. All right, thank you so much. Overall good, one minute, 21 seconds. So try to speak pleasantly and calm down your facial expressions and your speech, okay. uh, especially your tone when you're talking. Show some interest, speak pleasantly. That is going to make it even better. You said, I know her since my childhood. <coughs> so I have known her since my childhood. Present perfect tense will be used there. Okay, I know okay. her since my childhood is wrong. I have yes. known her since my childhood. Exactly. Uh, at times, you think too much and that affects fluency. Mm -hmm. So try to speak fluently. Uh, for that, you need to think ahead of time. For example, now I'm speaking this sentence, but I'm thinking about the next sentence. So you need to be faster in that very thing. Okay, <coughs> and practice is going to make you further fluent. Okay, now we have speaking part three. Uh, if there is disagreement, what do you do? Well, uh, as I said, that disagreement can happen with every second person. But still, uh, the foremost thing I try to do is avoid fighting. I just try to accept other person's uh, different perspective and absorb it and respect it, first of all. all that right. is uh, the way I avoid fighting and uh, start accepting different person's opinion okay overall it's good fluency is the main thing try to speak fluently and as you're thinking too much so try okay. to be familiar with the topics because answers should be readily available and when you speak about one topic second time third time answers will be readily available automatically right thank you so much